mic check one two mic check one two let me move this out of the way so i don't look at myself you know how these things have little screens on the side so i'm just gonna look right directly into the camera so i'm starting to sort of just really document my process as i grow in my studio as i grow as a leader as i grow as a studio owner and things like that and by the way it's like 10 degrees outside i have a heater going so if you hear a little noise that's what it is so for the past three years or so i've sort of been making this slow transition from you know freelancer to glorified freelancer to now you know what i'm starting to say is really starting to take ownership of becoming a studio owner and what that really looks like is just me getting rid of the 80% of tasks that take up all my time, focusing on the 20% of tasks, the 20% of clients, the 20% of uh, projects, just that 20% that, that really makes the business flourish and go all in on that. And so with that comes a lot of growth. So a little backstory here, I have my notes here I'll keep referring to. So for the past three years or so, I've been really just kind of wandering you know, aimlessly in the desert of creative studio, creative freelancing. So I really haven't had a niche or a specific target, a specific industry I've gone after because I kind of just didn't really want to make that commitment. I was having cool projects come in. However, I know in order to take the studio to the next level, I really need to narrow in on where it is I need to go, what it is I need to focus on, and the type of people I need to put that focus on to really target. So over the past, you know, my entire career, which has been 20 years, I've worked on car commercials, not just commercials, I work for branding, brand films for cars, for the Olympics. I've done a lot of political spots. I've done a lot of just overall, just, just, it's just all over the place, really. So with that, I was like, all right, what am I really good at? And what can I really start focusing on to take this business from six figures to seven figures? And while it's been really cool and really fun, there are experts out there, you know, like our, our good friend Chris Doe in the creative world, uh, among other experts, uh, who say that you need to niche down, that you have to really find somewhere to aim your arrow so that you can hit a target and grow exponentially. So here we go. Within the past, I don't know, three, four months, maybe a little bit longer, six months, forget that, sorry, 2024, I've really, this, this idea has really just sort of really hit me in the head. It hit me in the noggin. I've done some targeted stuff before in the past, but it was kind of out of alignment with who I was. But now I'm like, all right, I found the perfect target audience. And it's something that I'm really good at. And I know that I can grow and I know that I'll be, you know, in demand for it. So first of all, before I dig into who I chose or what target I chose, why is there a need to specialize? Why do creative people, why does anybody really, any sort of person who gets beyond, you know, getting their, their, their hands dirty, need to start specializing, need to start going after a specific audience? Well, I came up with three, three reasons here. Let's, let's take a look at them. The first one is it's just the need to go deep. It's, it's a need to really just focus and serve one industry. So look at it like, you know, I don't want my electrician to be dabbling in other things. I don't want him to be dabbling in plumbing. I don't want him to be a carpenter. I don't want him to do all this stuff. If he's a certified electrician, he needs to be a certified electrician. Now, if he wants to go even further, he can be a certified electrician for, you know, skyscrapers. That makes him really specialized. So what I'm trying to do, and Andy can charge a high price for that, right? So that's what I'm trying to do here. I'm trying to specialize in a specialty field. I'm, just trying to be, I'm, I'm, just, I'm trying to be super special here so I can start raising my prices and becoming an expert in those things. Another reason is, is really just to kill the fluff, kill all the other distractions in my, in my career and focus in on my, you know, what some people call my zone of genius. So it's really that, that sort of concentric circle of what I'm good at, what the market needs, what I enjoy, all those things kind of come together. And that's what I am. I, that's where I am going it all in on. So I can really focus on that and provide value within that zone of genius to where I can not only fulfill my own creative itch, I can charge more, I can get more work done faster. And it's for an industry that needs it. 
And the third one, and these are all kind of, they kind of go together, but the third reason why you niche down is for opportunity. If you were just to spray and pray, you know, let's say we're doing an email campaign, let's say we're just spray and pay, pray to whoever, the odds of you hitting a target is very slim. If you just focus in on one industry, the odds of you hitting someone in that industry is just, a, you have a higher chance of doing it. So I don't have any numbers, but everyone knows that you need to have a target audience to speak to, to speak their lingo, to really um, just become an expert and a partner within them, within that own, within that industry. Now, what's it gonna be moving forward? Let me introduce to you, drum roll please, Campaigns and Causes Studio. Now, this is sort of like a little sub-brand I'm doing of King's Collab, which is my LLC. Uh, this is Campaigns and Causes where I can, it just really lays it out there exactly what it is. It's for Campaigns and Causes and it's a studio. <laughs> With that, I still have my doors open for other opportunities, especially if they're high paying opportunities or they're really cool projects that tickle my creative itch. But this is where I'm heading moving forward is gearing towards people, gearing towards campaigns, gearing towards nonprofits, towards elected officials who are trying to get elected, who are trying to get some you know, votes passed, whatever it is, who are trying to sway public opinion through video production. Because I've been doing that stuff for, I don't know, 14 years now, I've been doing it in some capacity, and now I'm just trying to take it to the next level and really become the go-to expert in that field. So, why am I making this video about this? Number one is really just to document the journey. Uh, for whoever wants to watch, all three of you, whoever that is, or it's really just for me to come back and reflect on uh, where I've come a long way, where, where I've come from, you know, starting in January 2024, making, you know, six figures, you know, roughly, and then hopefully in three years from now, five years from now, I can say that I'm easily making seven figures. It'd be really cool to document my journey along the way. And also for my kids. I mean, it's really cool that we live in this age right now where <clears throat> I can just talk on camera and do things and my kids will be able to see it 20 years from now, hopefully, unless YouTube crashes or whatever. But the idea, I mean, think about it. What would you do if you could go back and watch your parents from 20, 30 years ago? You know, that, that kind of technology wasn't really there. It was, might have been there around 20 years ago, but anything before that, not so much. So the fact that I can document this process, document how I'm speaking right now and reflect upon it 20, 30, 40 years from now, I don't know, there's something about that legacy that's really cool to me. Uh, and also for self-reflection, I plan on making this mostly a weekly vlog and vlog style. Mainly I wanna do a vlog, vlog style because frankly I don't have time to go out and shoot a bunch of fancy stuff <laughs> right now. I'm too busy doing outreach, networking, fulfilling for client work that I already have. And the last thing I wanna do, I hate to say it, I, mean, I don't hate to say it, I'm gonna say it. The last thing I wanna do is go out and create content or the last thing I wanna do is go out and shoot more video and edit more videos in my time off, in my spare time. Eh, I kinda don't wanna do that. Uh, you know, football players don't play football in their spare time or, you know, so I never really got the argument of why like, oh, marketers are the worst at marketing. It's like, well, yeah, cause they're doing marketing for other people and they don't have time to focus on their effort. So if they give, you 50% of their time and 50% of their time to marketing and only give you 50% of their effort, then you're only gonna get 50% of their effort and everybody just gets half-ass effort. So I don't know, maybe there's probably, there's teams out there that can do it, have a lot of people. It's just me for now. Maybe one day on the road, I'll make more sexy content, maybe once a month or once every couple of months as the muse hits me. But for now, it's just mainly for a vlog, self-reflection, lessons along the way, that sort of thing. Um, and also, uh, I want to have this sort of exercise in content, uh, in, in just easy content like this, and focus. You know, if I were just to focus on this and nothing else, how can I lose? How can I lose if I just do this day in and day out? This content, not this content, but, but focusing on growing the business, I can't lose. I don't know. That's all I got. So it's just for focus. That's why I'm doing it, to focus. So a little bit uh, of what my goals are. Uh, short term in the next year, I plan on making uh, $500,000 in 2024. So the highest I've ever made a year as a freelancer has been $240,000. So I essentially need to double that. I would like to double that this year. And I'm gonna do that through, you know, charging more, going directly to clients more, not freelancing, doing stuff, you know, project-based. 
that sort of thing. And then by year three, I want this to be a healthy seven figure business, couple of um, employees, contractors, all that stuff. And really just be sort of a well-oiled machine in about three or four years in the next, maybe not this cycle, but a couple cycles down the road where this thing is just cranking out all the awesome, you know, political content to, to, to do, whatever. I can't talk. Blech. So another thing of my goal is to actually become an expert in the field of communicating through video. Uh, so in the world of politics, being able to communicate through video, uh, commercials, organic, paid media, all that stuff through video, becoming an expert in that and being someone that people hire because if I'm an expert in video, but also an expert in video within the political and advocacy world, bada bing, bada boom, it's just like icing on the cake, right? Right now I am focusing more on progressive left of center politics, mainly because that is what I've done in the past. Uh, but down the road, I want to move into more common sense centric political people because I feel like uh, we're in need of a clean slate with some of our sort of our more divisive politics and I don't want to play that game I want to play I want to play with people who are awesome and who are actually going to make a difference in this country another one of my goals is to hire more people and just contribute to the economy and contribute to my community and to give back more the more money I earn the more I can give back right so it's just like I, I'm not a greedy person. If I make a million dollars, I'll give away $100,000. You know what I mean? Because I always give away 10% of what I do. And if I make, you know, it just over, over time, it just adds up. I just want to be able to give more. I want to be able to have more leverage in my life and more time with my family. I know like running a studio, it, it might not necessarily equate to more time in my life, but by hiring more people and doing all this stuff, I can focus on things that really matter instead of uh, doing all the day-to-day -day stuff. So that's all down the road. That's sort of the goals. Um, so with all that, how am I gonna do all this? So right now in quarter one, 2024, uh, cold email is the name of the game. I have some content I might post up like this video every once in a while, uh, but cold email is the content, is the name of the game. So uh, started a couple weeks ago, beginning of January. I've been emailing about 10 people a day, a little slow to start, but I'm trying to get the hang of it testing out different messages, that sort of thing. Just emailing people in the industry of like, hey, do you need something? It's very super chill, like just wanna make introductions. No hard sales or anything like that. I really am just trying to network right now and get my name in front of more people. So, um, so and content, you know, maybe make some content, but that's sort of a long game. I have kind of a personal brand, but not really. So I'm not really gonna focus on that right now. It's all about just getting my name out there with code email, maybe some DMs here and there, and some content, but that's more of a long game and I'll do it here and there, but that's not my focus at least this quarter, maybe the next quarter or quarter three, quarter four, something like that. Another thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attend one event per quarter. So coming up in this quarter at the end of March, there's an event in Charleston, South Carolina I'm gonna to go to. I'm actually sponsoring that, or a little sponsorship there. So I have a, I'll have a booth there. Uh, but it's also just an opportunity to just go around and network and rub elbows with people who are in the industry. And it's an industry that's not really online that much, at least the experts in the industry. They're not online. They're not, they're not you know, Instagram influencers. They're not CEOs. They don't have personal brands. These are people who work behind the scenes. And um, yeah, and they just do stuff a lot of behind the scenes. They want run behind the scenes to help other people have personal brands. So I got to get in front of those people. And to do that, I have to network and go to, to in-person events or cold emails. The next thing is sponsorships and advertising, which I, I already mentioned. I'm gonna sponsor that one thing and just kind of just see how it goes from there. And then maybe do some advertising down the road as more money comes in. And the next thing I'm gonna do is referrals, referrals, referrals. Referrals has been my lifeblood for the past seven years. I haven't really done much marketing. So referrals is the name of the game. If I can get more referrals and just, you know, spinball this thing you know what I'm saying yeah so that's how I'm going to grow the agency this year to reach five hundred thousand dollars and eventually hopefully snowball in the future to make you know a million plus and what can you expect from me moving forward with this kind of video this kind of stuff content and things weekly-ish vlogs I hate that word vlog video vlogs uh, of progress um, some of my lessons um, some 
wins, some losses. Maybe you can learn a few things from that, uh, that sort of thing. I can answer some questions if anybody has any questions. Um, I'll probably put together some sort of newsletter. Uh, this is sort of a weekly newsletter to get out in front of prospects every week, some leads, things like that. But, you know, we'll see. We'll see how my focus efforts on Coldy Mill go, but that'll probably be down the road. I'll have, probably have a newsletter of some sort to stay top of mind with um, leads and with people who are interested in what I'm doing. Um, also, I'll probably just make random videos on this channel of what I want to make. I, I mean, I love, um, I, I like being a studio owner, I like creativity, but I also have a lot of the stuff outside of um, this job that I like to do. I like, I like to exercise, I like to work out, I like to read and, and just self-improvement, productivity, things like that. Is a lot of stuff I'm really biohacking, <laughs> health, fitness, food, um, simplicity, focus, family. I have all these other interests that I, I experiment with and I'm learning from, and I would love to make more content like that as well. So this channel might be kind of just a weird culmination of anti-niching, which I think is fine, uh, because what I'm doing with my business is niching, but what I do with my personal um, sort of YouTube page or personal content page is really just stuff that I enjoy. So it might be more animations, it might be other fun stuff. I don't know, we'll see how it goes, we'll see how spread thin I am and how much creativity um, hits me in the moment. So, but I have some ideas on that, some films I can make that actually might be pretty good that I think would um, satisfy some curiosities of mine, but also get some content up for other people to learn from and, and really just document a process. But that was a long, that was a long talk there. Um, but that's it, you know, feel free to follow along if you like, subscribe if you want to, um, pass it along but I plan on doing this almost every week. Uh, right now it is January the 17th, 2024, so hopefully I'll post another one in a week or so uh, and update on the progress. Thank you.